What's going on guys? It's your boy Soy Kudigari. Welcome to a new video. On today's video, we're going over 10 tips to Loopy Killer for fucking ever. Quick shout out to this P for getting the secret word in the last video. Keep a lookout for the secret word during this video to get a shout out in the next one. Let's get into it. Tip number one, hug your loops. Hugging your loops is very important. The tighter you hug a loop, the less distance you need to travel. If I am wide on a loop, it'll take more distance for me to travel to get back to the pallet, which is why you should hug it tight, but not too tight on certain loops, because you can get stuck on a tiny fucking pebble, which will cause you to get hit. A prime example is the window side on Shaq. You can get stuck on that little fucking window. Sadly, but sure. Tip number two, greed pallets. If you've seen my 10 survivor tips video, you know this was number one for the top 10 survivor tips. If you haven't seen it, go check it out now, or you smell like a prosthetic toe. You want to greed pallets because it'll give you more time at a loop before actually dropping the pallet. The more times you can go around one single loop without dropping a pallet, the more time you give your teammates to complete gens just that one fucking loop. Once you see the killer is getting faster, that's your cue to go for one more loop or drop it right there. Just because the killer now has bloodlust and he's fucking zooming. Tip number three, know when to leave your loops. Knowing when to leave your loop is very important. If it's a high wall loop like the loops on Armin, Coldwind, or Macmillan, etc., after looping that high wall a few times, hold W away from the loop. The killer will think you're still there, which will, you know, they will eventually start my gaming themselves, which is one fucking hilarious. And two, it makes you hung like a fucking horse. So why not do it, Meg? Number four, run a looping build. It's not necessary at all to looping, but it does help a ton. Really good looping perks are resilience, which gives a 6% boost to everything you do while injured. Dead hard, but will make you exhausted on the ground. Or if you're lucky, it'll give you an extra hit if you make a mistake. Object of a session, which lets you see the aura of the killer for a short period of time over and over if you are the obsession. Keep in mind that they can see you too. Windows of opportunity, which lets you see all the palace that are up in windows that are nearby. These are just some of the best ones in my opinion. If you find other ones and you, you know, work better with them, fine, fucking use it. I don't care. I'm just helping you guys. Fuck this. <laughs> Number five, pay attention to your surroundings. If you are at a loop, make sure you take a second to look around for your next loop when you are finished with that one. So many survivors loop a killer at one loop, and then when they throw the pal and run away, they end up running towards a dead zone in panic. You, you're better than that. Your webbles are much bigger. Yes, even if you don't have them. Be careful when looping a killer too that they don't force you towards a dead zone. I'll throw an example or two that shows how killers can zone you into a dead zone so it's much harder for you to make it to another loop. If they break the pallet on a pacific side also, you'll be forced into a position that you are too far to reach another loop, which can result in a hit or a guaranteed down. This is where dead hard may come into play. Be patient. I know you may be thinking, how the fuck can I be patient and not get hit? But well, playing patient is what will make you not get hit. Like when looping Shaq, a killer may fake going inside of Shaq to show his red glow, as if he's going in only in a moonwalk back towards the window expecting you to panic. Don't panic. Remember, your levels are much bigger. Pay attention to the killer's patterns. If they fall for fake vaults, fake the fucking vault. After a few times, they'll catch on and that's when you take the vault. Make sure to switch it up though, which leads to the next tip. Be unpredictable. Being unpredictable is such a big thing when it comes to many killers. Against Huntress, don't dodge her hatches the same way every time. Against Nurse, don't always double back on her blinks, etc, etc. Being unpredictable is the maximum way to stress a killer out. If you're going to pre-vault windows and pallets a lot, eventually start faking the vaults. If you're going to pre-drop pallets like a fucking Meg, read the next one, and so on. Mix it up. Many killers are going to learn to read you and your playstyle and adapt to it, so the best counter to that is to mix it up and confuse their small little fucking brain. Hold W against anti-loop killers. Killers like Bird Bitch, Turkey Bitch, and your typical Brit are anti-loopers, meaning their main point of their power is to take away from the only thing you have to counter against killers. Thanks, behavior. When Bird Bitch places her crows to corner you, hold W. When Turkey Bitch puts down his transportation ovary, hold W and or try to mind game it. When the typical Brit drops his typical Brit, hold W. Easy counter against them. Some of them may know this, so prepare for a quick use of their power, which is really hard to counter them at that point. But fuck it. it you're gonna die eventually. J just fucking try to last long. There, you're welcome. <laughs> Number nine, connect your loops. 
Sometimes in a match, you'll have beautiful RNG. RNG is tile placement, meaning you can have multiple loops next to each other. If you're lucky and have this happening to you, instead of dropping the pallet, connect the loops and use that as your advantage. Like on Coldwind, near Shack most of the time, there is always another tile right next to it. Instead of dropping Shack pallet, run over to the other tile near it. Loop that and run back to Shack and repeat until you have no other choice but to drop the pallet at the other tile. Again, don't drop Shack pallet, Meg. Please don't. Number 10. Dead zoned, no problem. So you may find yourself in a fucking sticky position. <laughs> What's new? You're in a complete dead zone. No pallet, no loop, no fucking problem. Play the edge map. Play the fucking useless as Z walls. Play around trees. Anything is better than nothing. All that matters is you waste a few more seconds out of killer's time. People never use Z walls because they're extremely unsafe. But if you're caught in a dead zone, you're already unsafe. So might as well try to loop the killer around the unsafest loop ever. Cause fuck it, why not? Hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's been your boy, Soikudagari. If you've seen the secret word, make sure you comment it down below. And if you're the first one, you will get a shout out in the next video. Make sure you guys hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell so you can notify when I post a brand new video. Ciao for now. Oh, I need a